Pesticides are expensive and can be a significant portion of field crop input costs. To make sure that you are getting the best return for your crop protection dollar, you must choose the right pesticide, apply it at the right time, and apply the right amount. To be sure that you are applying the right amount, you must calibrate your sprayer. Calibration is a test measurement of your application equipment under typical operating conditions. Proper calibration of your sprayer tells you two things. The output of your sprayer with the nozzle, pressure, and travel speed that you have chosen to use, and the output of each individual nozzle. All nozzle outputs must be the same to make sure that the pesticide is being applied evenly over the whole field. As nozzle tips wear out, their spray patterns may change and their outputs will increase. Many people don't calibrate because they feel it's too difficult. The fact of the matter is, calibration is easy and well worth your time. Many operators are adding rate controllers to their sprayers. However, rate controllers don't calibrate your sprayer. As their name implies, they only adjust the sprayer to deliver the output that you have preset on the rate controller. This is great technology that maintains the sprayer output with a high degree of accuracy. However, a rate controller can't tell you if the pesticide is being applied evenly across the boom. For this reason, even if you have a rate controller, you still need to calibrate your sprayer to check the output of each nozzle. Sprayer calibration is essential to make sure that your sprayer is operating properly. Let's look at what's involved in calibrating a sprayer. First, it's important to make sure you have all the equipment you'll need. Here is a checklist. Two flags, measuring tape or wheel, stopwatch, graduated cylinders marked in milliliters, notepad and pen, chemical resistant gloves, coveralls and waterproof boots, spare nozzles, and a helper to make the job easier. Sprayer calibration should be carried out in a typical field where spraying will be done, and not on the lawn or around farm buildings. In order to get an accurate measure of the actual travel speed, a sprayer tank should be half filled with clean water. This provides for an average travel speed under field conditions. There are only three things you need to measure to accurately calibrate your sprayer. One, the time to travel 50 meters, measured in seconds. Two, the average nozzle output, measured in milliliters and three, the nozzle spacing, measured in meters. Either directly in the field or the adjacent fence row, place two flags exactly 50 meters or 164 feet apart. A measuring wheel calibrated in meters makes the job easy. Select the gear you wish to use. When you reach the first flag, be sure the tractor is traveling at the speed you plan to use when you spray. Use the stopwatch to measure the time it takes to reach the second flag. Don't slow down before you get there. Write down the time in seconds that it took to travel the 50 meters. Do two more runs of this course and be sure not to travel on your previous wheel tracks. Record these times on your notepad. Add up all the times and divide by three to get the average time in seconds to travel the 50 meters. Record this average. Nine, nine. Reset. Now park the sprayer in the field with the PTO engaged and adjust the throttle to reach the same PTO speed as when doing the test run. Adjust the pressure regulator to obtain the desired operating pressure with full flow to the boom. Collect the liquid from each nozzle with a graduated cylinder for the same length of time as required to travel the 50 meters. 
Start at one end of the boom and do each and every nozzle. Record the amounts collected in milliliters on your notepad. Checking all the nozzles will take a few minutes, but it's the only way of knowing exactly how much output each nozzle is delivering. Add up all the nozzle outputs and divide by the number of nozzles. This will give you the average output per nozzle. You should remove any nozzle with an output that varies more than 5% from the average nozzle output you have just calculated, or more than 10% from the nozzle manufacturer's specifications. Use a soft brush to clean the nozzle tip. Clean the nozzle carefully under running water and reinstall it. Check the nozzle again to see if the cleaning worked by measuring the output again for the same length of time as in the calibration test. If the output is still more than 5% off the average, or 10% off the manufacturer's specifications, you need to replace this nozzle tip with a new one. Install the new nozzle and measure its output to make sure it's the same as the rest. 25. The next thing you need to do is measure the nozzle spacing on the boom in meters and write it down. The last thing you need to do is figure out the sprayer output in liters per hectare. You will use this formula to calculate sprayer output. Sprayer output equals average nozzle output in milliliters divided by nozzle spacing in meters times 0.2. This gives you liters per hectare. Times 0.2, 199 liters per hectare. If the spare output is not the output you wish to apply, you must make adjustments. You can adjust the sprayer output in three ways by changing your nozzles, your operating pressure, or your travel speed. Changing the nozzles will make a large adjustment to your sprayer output. Changing the operating pressure will make small changes to your sprayer output, increase the pressure to apply more spray to an area, and decrease the pressure to apply less. You need to remember that when you change the operating pressure, you will change the droplet size and the spray pattern. Changing the travel speed will also allow you to make small adjustments to your sprayer output, slow down to apply more spray to an area, and speed up to apply less. Spare calibration is not difficult. Anyone can and everyone should calibrate their field sprayer routinely. You should calibrate when you change the sprayer output, begin to use new equipment, and replace nozzles, pressure regulators, or pumps. You should also calibrate at regular intervals to determine if wear has changed the sprayer output. Keep this in mind if you use sprayers with brass nozzles or you spray abrasive products such as wettable powders and micronutrients. Use this simple calibration procedure to give you the confidence to know the exact output of your sprayer. With very little equipment and an hour of your time, you can calibrate your sprayer.